the Evoc Hip Pack Race. <laughs> a nice waist pack, but 55 quid is the best price you can get for it. 75 quid, the recommended retail price. Too rich for my blood. Do you think I can find a decent waist pack for less than 20 quid? We're about to find out. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's just been Black Friday, Cyber Monday, which I'd never heard of before. Basically, loads of deals over the weekend. I've been keeping a really close eye on things and bought one or two things here and there. Um, but what it got me thinking about is how I spend quite a lot of time when I'm not riding. I'm like most riders, I'm and I'm not riding very much at the minute at all, but I spend a lot of my time watching videos, looking, for, looking at bikes, looking at gear looking on amazon at gear and what i wanted to do was perhaps take you for a bit of a look at how i use amazon to find some really good deals and also it gave me kind of a good idea about how because i just mountain biking in general is just such an expensive hobby now it kind of always has been i started mountain biking in 2008 um my first bike cost me like 800 quid the next bike cost me like 1500 quid then 1600 quid and i built up until the last bike i bought was two and a half thousand um and it'll probably keep going up if anything um but back then the most expensive bikes that you really came across were in the kind of five to six thousand pound region there's obviously the uh, the odd bike that's more expensive than that but it wasn't it wasn't quite so common place as it is now if you look at some of the mondrakers you know the santa cruz the pivots there's just the the price of bikes is just getting absolutely insane you know they're up at 10 grand some of them now and it's just incredible and the same goes right throughout it's, it's the same for all kind of accessories and components and and stuff that comes with bikes now it's great that this year they decided to make the SRAM GX Eagle stuff so as you could get that 12 by group set for much less less than half the price of what the the old you know what the original SRAM Eagle stuff was but stuff is still expensive so what I thought I would what I thought I would do with this kind of mini series or series is basically we'll call it like the mountain bike bargain bin or something and we'll just look for really good cheap equipment that you can use in the place of something else so let's just jump straight into it here and let's kind of dive into the computer okay so here we are in my computer guys basically the way that i was obviously when when these deals come up like you've got the cyber monday store there um so and you'll have to excuse how slow the internet is here in spain but um so yeah the site that's so when they have black friday and stuff you can look at this drop down tag and you can search in Cyber Monday. You can search in the in the in all the various parts of the store, like the warehouse deals and stuff like that. That's where you get all the good deals. What I do is I get is I hit shop by department, go to today's deals, and then I generally go down through the the various kind of applicable stuff. So you've got cycling is there straight away. You can click on that. And then what I do is I go to this top right tab here and you can, in this tab, not when you're looking through general searches, but you can go to this tab and you can go discount, high to low, um, and that'll give you kind of the most discounted stuff at the top. Now, a lot of this is going to be cheap crap even when it's not in a sale like you know it's going to be cheap and not very good even when it's in even when it's not in the sale um i find the best the best section in here to be not cycling but sports and outdoors so if i show you just a real quick example of how you can get some really cool stuff um it's well worth looking out for nutrition and stuff in here so if we scroll down until we come to the first kind of nutrition your energy bar type thing this is kind of interesting actually. I'm already seeing like the makings of a bike packing kit. So you've got like small microfiber towels there. Really cheap luggage thing there. Like I say, it might be crap, but it's worth trying some of these things, you know, instead of just instead of just spunking out on the really expensive stuff. If you've got like an overall budget, sometimes you can save yourself bits of money here and there where you, where you don't need to spend, spend masses of money. And a, like a rigging out a bike packing kit is something that I've been looking at for ages. So yeah, that's just, I just thought that was quite interesting because there's also a little hammock there. Look, that's a double camping hammock, but I've seen some of these hammocks on sale. That's a great way to bike pack around the area that I live because there's loads of pine really close together everywhere. 
Uh, here we go. So look, if you look, if you look at this, this is SIS energy bars and science in sport energy bars, and look at the discount on that. So that's thirty five quid recommended retail price, and then fifteen forty nine is what it is now. So there's fifty six percent off that. You're saving twenty quid off thirty five. That's massive. So um, banana fudge that might be one of the most stinking ones, but that's um, a box of 30, 40 gram bars for just over 15 quid. So you're looking at 50p a bar, which is a really good deal by anyone's standards. Um, then if you come back out, I think I saw some gels just further down the page. Yeah, there's some gels there. So here's some science in sport isogels. So these are 60 mil gels. Again, a pack of 30 and that's 18, 18 19 quid. So you're looking at about 70p, 60, 70p for each gel there, which again, is just so cheap. Um, it's so easy to just go and pick them up from your local bike shop on your way out to a ride but it's well worth doing this that's supposed to be 42 quid down to 18.99 recommended retail price is always the absolute worst case scenario but quite often you know you won't find that you you may find it place other places cheap but yeah that seems like a really good deal to me so this is how i look for the deals now Today, I had it in mind that there was something specific that I wanted to look for because basically I found, I've been looking at the waste bags, the waste packs um, and looking at a light set up to carry so I don't have to pack everything up for when I'm not recording. Um, and it would be, I would ride, ride with a waste pack and just put, a, just put a water bottle in a bottle cage on the bike and then I pass through the village. You know, I can still do a long ride because I can do it in loops where I pass through the village. And in Spain, they have fountains in the villages, so you can top up every time you go through. So if I do three loops and I carry my 600 milliliter water bottle, then it's the equivalent of carrying 1.8 liters of, of water, which is totally fine. So I have been looking at waste packs. Now, what we'll do is I've saved a whole bunch of waste packs in a list, in my wish list here. So what I've done is I've organized the list from the most expensive, which is the Evoc Hit Pack Race, which is would be the best case scenario. And this is the best price that I can find as well at 54 quid. Um, there's a used um, option there for 47 quid. That hip bag was kind of my, the, was would be the one that I want. It, the regular retail price for that is something like 75 quid. And then if I scroll right down through the list at the very bottom, the cheapest one I could find was seven quid. Basically, it just comes down to the fact that I'm not willing to really, well, I am willing to spend 50, 60, 70 quid on a hit pack, but it kind of makes me think why. I kind of I kind of feel like I need to be a little bit more shrewd with the way I spend money on mountain biking. You can quite easily spend a lot of money throughout the course of the year on little bits and pieces. And then you try and justify buying a new bike at the end of the season or for the start of the next season if you've managed to be a bit more frugal with what you're spending throughout the year you've got a much better chance of being able to of, of having the money there to to you know spend more on the bike i think for most of us we want to be trying to get get to a point where instead of spending loads and loads of money on all the accessories if you haven't got like the money to buy the absolute best of everything then you need to prioritize and, and you really want to be getting the best bike that you can so it's with stuff like this that you can save so if we just scroll down through here so the evoc bike bag now this has got and this is something that you'll notice as we go down through the list this has got like a built-in hydration system with it so you get a, like a little hydration pack with this. It can accommodate a hydration system of up to 1.5 litre. The bag itself is three litres. Um, what's great about this bag is if you look at the hip belts and stuff, you can tell that Evoc make wicked stuff, don't they? You can tell that this is a quality waste pack. You can see that it's ripstop material. You can see that it's got compression straps there. It's got room for bottles. It's got the hydration system on the inside. It's got a pocket on the front there. Um, I don't know if it's water waterproof. And this does has have the bladder included, so that's that's one reason why this one it will be a lot. Hello, no bladder, bladder, but I think I can get one through Evoc. Or, well, maybe there's a bladder, maybe there's not. So that's the kind of holy grail, if you like, of of, of the the waste pack that I would want. Another similar costume one is Dakini, and this one it's only got three stars there actually. But this one again, this one comes with a 1.4 reservoir with quick disconnect hose. It's got room for the bottle there. It's got the little side pockets there, which are, would be awesome. That would be, you know, you really want those. 400 grams again, the same as the last one. So it weighs quite a bit, but that's because it's got the, it's got the kind of, it, it accommodates the bladder and the, and the hydration system as well there. So, so that's again, that's like a quite expensive option. Then Osprey, um, obviously make a similar, similar thing again, going to be similar material to like the rat that I ride with um, 50 quid it's all these are all within the 50 to 60 category it's got the pockets on the side 
you know, room for your room for two bottles there, as well as I think. Let's see if this one accommodates the hydration system. I don't think this one does actually. This one weighs quite a bit, but then if you look at it, it says 600 grams there, which can't be right. If you go by this one, 422 grams because the shipping weight is 544 grams. So yeah, we know that we know that Osprey make good stuff, and that looks like a really comfortable pack. Now, if we look at these two, this was quite interesting actually. There's the, these two are the same are the same pack at the same waste pack. It's the Camelback Flash Flow. Um, one of them's lime green and one of them's black 1.5 liter hydration pack 1.5 so i think they're exactly the same except there's a different a price difference here of 22 quid so if we look at this one down here i guess the 3.25 liter is the capacity of the whole pack and then 1.5 is the hydration that it can yeah 1.5 liter lumbar yeah so that's basically what what it can take this is lightweight construction um stretch mesh I don't know if that's rip stop type stuff. Adjustable waist strap. It doesn't look, to be fair, as comfortable as like the Osprey one did, but the waist strap it is thicker at that part there, and then it thins off, and then it's thicker at the other side again. So that's what you want. Um, so yeah, that looks like a quality. You know, Camelback make good stuff as well. So now, if we come into kind of the alternative selection, we kind of need to pretend that that doesn't exist, because the point of what I'm doing here is I'm trying to find cheap equipment that you can get day in, day out. Um, and that there is just an amazing deal. Jump on Amazon and see if it's still there. Because 25 quid, what does it say the regular retail, or the recommended retail price is? It doesn't actually say for that one. So the, from now on, these this starting at the low alpine one here, from here down, these are kind of, this is more, you know, this is like the sub 20 quid category, which is much more affordable. And if you can get something in this category, and it feels like you should be able to, because it's still just you know it's it's just a waste pack it seems ridiculous that you should be spending like 70 or 80 quid on these so if we start looking at these cheaper ones so the first one and this is one that i like the look of is a low alpine mesa waste bag now what i like that now what i like about this one is first of all it's ripstop material you can see with the squares and it says it down below um it has these two con compression straps here and here which means that i could roll up a you know, if, I, if it was a rainy day and I was wearing a, a jacket, I could roll up the jacket and stuff it underneath those bands and, and compress it down on it so as it didn't go anywhere. It's good size. It's not too deep. It looks like it does good coverage kind of width-wise instead of being too high and deep. And like I say, again, the compression, it's got compression bands, four of them, which means you can pull it right in against yourself for if you've not got it filled right up with stuff. It comes in this pumpkin color as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I really, really like this one. It's going to be a contender for the one that I get, definitely. So it's a six-liter capacity bum bag made from lightweight ripstock material, which is perfect running and walk in and uh, let's have another look at the waistband yeah see the waistband is nice and padded on the sides there which is good really good it's for spring summer use so you've got to assume that it's not waterproof um which doesn't really bother me too much and the weight is down at 204 grams again look it says shipping weight 204 grams and that it actually weighs 272 so you can't really go by either of those but yeah we really like that one that's definitely a contender for the one that i'll get and it's also low alpine as well, which is a good make, you know. And and what you, and you got to remember what you're talking about here is yeah, we've got some decent deals up here. This is twenty quid less than the recommended retail price. This is a good price as well. This one here is a ridiculously good price. So you got to just keep in mind that that this is almost forty quid less than the one at the top, and that's on the right day with the right deals and everything. That forty quid is a lot of money. Now this is one that I've never heard of before. I'm probably not going to go for this one. What I liked it. What I liked about this one is the fact that it has all these strap options and it looks like it like it expands as well. So you'd be able to stuff like a waterproof in there if you wanted to. Um, it just looks like it looks okay, like you know. But because I don't know the make, I think we're going to write that one off straight away. I'm just not too keen on it. But again, 17 quid, it's worth a look, isn't it? Next one is this Trespass Trespass Evolver Unisex Extended Waist bag let's have a look at all the normal stuff now what i didn't like about this was these mesh it'd be nice and cooling but i just don't like the look of those mesh waist straps it kind of looks a bit flimsy so we're not too keen on this one but it was just another interesting one and it extends up so it extends up into like a full bag but i'm not sure how much room you actually get in the bottom part like you know it definitely isn't partitioned or anything else like that it's an 18 meter rucksack um 
but yeah so I'm not really too keen on that one but it was just another option there with the extending part this is another low alpine one I really like the low alpine ones but I wasn't too keen on this it's the same same rip stop material it's like a good size again 159 grams it doesn't weigh much if that's the if, if that's the right thing for litre capacity so yeah so it's another good option but what i didn't like about this one is the fact that i didn't have those two big compression straps there to strap a waterproof to it if i needed to so i'm pretty sure that's not going to be a winner and then i've just got like the real budget the sub 10 pound options here as well this one here is kind of like a pretty military looking type thing i just like the look of it it's waterproof this one as well so it's just it's just to show you really the options that you have this dude's wearing it on his front it kind of the thing about this one is it kind of looks like it would just stick off you miles but it has got loads of compression straps so you could stuff a waterproof under there if you wanted to um yeah perhaps it's a, perhaps this is an option like you know it's a pretty sturdy looking pack 454 grams so it's on the heavy side and obviously what we've lost with all of these now pretty much is it, they don't accommodate um, hydration packs, although you would be able to stuff it in there somewhere. But this is a good one, the fact that it's water resistant. The waist strap looks okay, and it's got like a zippable, a zippable thing there, which is, that's really good actually. So yeah, maybe. Now this one here, Mountain Warehouse. I quite like Mountain Warehouse's gear. I've got a Mountain Warehouse down jacket, and this one is this one's good. What I like about this one is the fact that you've got this big rubber band, whatever you call it, like it's compression thing again but it's like a compression band again you'd be able to stick a waterproof underneath that and then you've also got these really good sized side pockets that's obviously for a water bottle or something which i wouldn't use for that but you can stuff you know anything in there you've got the side pocket there as well on the actual waistband which is really good and then this just looks so comfortable look how comfortable that looks in there really deep waistbands ripstop material again 10 quid it's unbelievable it's down from it's down from 20 quid, but 10 quid, two quid for delivery to the UK. That's like a really, really good deal. 10 quid, when you compare that, you know, that's cheap. When you compare it to the, it is purpose built, obviously the Evoc one, but still, you know, is it is it really 40, 50 quid better than that? I don't know. So that is an option. That's a really solid contender, that one, I reckon, at 10 quid. And then the last, last one down the bottom here is this, trespass alpaca hip bag red hip pack red again trespass isn't a bad make like you know i know it's not the same as evoc and stuff like that but you aren't you're never disappointed if you buy a trespass fleece or anything like that it just looks a little bit like a kid's school bag this one is the only thing um but it, like what i did like is look at the waistband again on that it looks like it would be super super comfortable loads of compartments you've got the water pockets on the side you've got compression straps on the side again like seven quid that's just insane it's designed for running so it shouldn't be too shaky but so yeah that's just that was like a real budget option there like you know it's seven quid is absolutely in incredible so what i'm going to do quickly now is i'm going to quickly condense this list down into three packs and then decide on which one i'm going to get and then that will arrive in the next week or so and we'll have a look at it and have a review of it okay guys so after that's taken me about 15 minutes there to narrow it down i've looked at a few reviews online and i've narrowed it down to these three now what i'm going to do is the camelback flash flow um i don't want to carry water in the hip pack i want to carry water in my you know in a bottle on the bike because i want to keep weight in here to a minimum because i still want to carry a pump i still want to carry a few spares and food and so if i put water in there as well it's going to take up too much room and it's going to make it too heavy so even though this is probably the best deal on there at the minute um i'm not going to go for that one so we'll take that one out of the equation now the low alpine was my favorite to be honest i've looked looked at the low alpine one loads i really like the look of this but because i live in spain and i'm sure shopping on the uk website because that's where most of my viewers are and in the us but obviously i can't get stuff sent over from the us as easily um this one here ended up costing almost 30 quid to get this one over so 30 quid is 20 quid less than some of the top of the range ones so it's just not a big enough difference to really you know if you're spending 30 quid just spend the extra 20 quid i reckon and get one of the top of the range ones what i'm trying to do here is find really good value cheap stuff for people who can't afford the really expensive stuff or that don't want to spend out on the expensive stuff so as they can save that money towards a new bike so that leaves us with the mountain warehouse traverse waste bag 
10 quid. You can buy this on here or eBay for 10 quid. You can buy it in Mountain Warehouse for 10 quid as well. Um, so let's buy that one. This one is going to cost me five quid to get it over to Spain. So it's, you know, put the price up by a fiver there. I'll get it here in a week or so, um, but still 15 quid. That's a quarter of the price of some of these top of the range ones. So that's the one that we're having. Just quickly, before we come out of the computer to give you an idea of the deals that I've got on here before. You can see the, the recommended retail price for these cliff bars in the UK is 20 quid, 19 pound 20 they've got a deal on there now for 14.28 but i managed to buy these the other day for 12.96 for a pack of 12 i bought two of those so it's basically just over a quid a bar but these are 68 gram bars and i've never had cliff energy bars before and these are the peanut butter ones so i'm really excited for those so that's just another quick example of the kind of bargains that you can get on amazon if you look hard enough so we've got the warehouse um waste bag on its way now as soon as that arrives i'll do a quick review and that'll give you guys an idea of whether or not you really need to be spending 60 70 80 quid on a waste bag um or whether a 10 quid at jobby from mountain warehouse will do the job just as well that's it guys i hope you found this useful obviously when i do the review you'll know for sure if this is really useful if this turns in to you know if this is something that you guys have enjoyed if you spend lots of time shopping for mountain bike stuff as i do but can't be constantly spending hundreds of pounds on the, the top of the range gear maybe this is going to be something that we can make a long-term thing put some suggestions in the comments below of pieces of equipment that you want but you can't find anything really cost effective or cheap or aren't too keen on trying things out make a suggestion below and i'll see what i can find and if there's if it's something that i want myself i might i may well buy that and review it as well that's it guys don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll be back out on the bike very very soon thanks a lot for watching on your bikes